Hi friends, this is Gail O'Neill and I teach stamping. I hope you enjoy. Hello everybody. All right, so we're working with Snow Wonder. I must have just shook everything. Mmm, calm. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. All right, I'm good. Maybe. All right, Snow Wonder. The dies this snowman cuts out. Um, I did find I had to borrow from other sets some smaller um, words because you can't always fit these biggins on the cards. But I got a lot to show you. So, first, I'm going to show you um, a different way of doing the shaving cream technique. So you take a block and you put your shaving cream on it. So you're actually using a lot less shaving cream. And I'm not sure how much neater it is. So I do like three drops. And I'm using Balmy Blue. Um, then I take, like you take an old credit card or this is where I used to shop in New York. So I don't need that anymore. Don't need it. Okay, so there's a couple ways you can do it. You can take the block and swipe it across your card. Um, oh, I should have gotten my other mat. Oh well, I'll just change the paper. Or from your card, you can just take some and drag it across. Now, actually, I could have used less, less ink. So this is a dark one. This is one I did earlier, except then I wiped it with a cloth that has this one so it kind of went on it but there's one then the next couple we'll just do with the block and you can add more shaving cream to it or wipe it off start again but you can get if you want a wavy look check that out Try doing that when you do it in a paper plate. Right? So there's your little ocean scene. Do a couple more because there's still plenty on here. So this is the way I've been doing it for quite a while now. When I do it. Now they're going to start getting lighter. Although I can roll it to the other side and you don't have to work with a squeegee because most of it is coming right off so I'll do one more with this and then move on pretty cool right okay so I'm just going to wipe this off. I'm going to take my cleaner one and make sure that these are... I like that one. Okay. Then... I'm just going to get rid of one of these, except my fingers don't work. This is just um, Whisper White paper. Whisper White. Hi, Connie. And Barb. And Patricia. Becky. Sean. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So, I think because this dried, really, 
I'm going to go ahead and do that card. So what I did is this is, um, what color is it, the new one? Misty Moonlight. So that's going to go on there. I already stamped a snowman in the Misty Moonlight. I have ink somewhere on me. All right, so I'm going to stamp this in, um, you know what? I'll do it in the Misty. Misty Moonlight. I just got to pull it down a little bit. All right, so we're going to take this. Oops, I got to move my glue closer to me. I left it out of the thing today by mistake. Let's see if there's any in this one. Ooh, yeah. And we want it right side up. And you could also, um, like, whatchamacallit, sponge around the sides. But I got a lot of stuff to show you tonight, so I figured I'm going to cut corners here. And that can go right onto the back. I love the feel of paper after it's got the shaving cream on it. It gets so soft. Okay, and then we're going to pop this guy up as fast as we can. Ooh, glue. So he's going to go right there, and then somewhere I had a little tree, got it. I know this one's going to run out, so I'll have to squeeze the other one. And it's just a quick card, and then you've got other backgrounds but it makes it easier to do it that way and then you can change colors and you know you can do five or six for each fur each time you do it okay so the next technique and then it'll be just making cards until I get to the last one and that's the one that I struggled with but I think I got it I think I got it so this particular one has to be stamped with stays on and I don't use stays on very often because the smell and I don't like that it's so sticky so I only use it for certain things and this is one of the things <laughs> A little Florida gnats. Okay. So I just want to make sure this is dry. So I might, I think I'm going to heat it real quick. Okay, and since the last time I was doing this technique and didn't have any, I still don't have any Clorox. So we're using Clorox Gel Cleaner. And as long as you do it, shake it up and do it fast, it works pretty well. All right, so I'm just taking a brush. Make sure you don't use like one of your really 
good brushes that are made out of hair because you won't have it anymore. And with the stays on, you can go right over everything and not worry about it. So you don't have to um, emboss first. Because in the old days, I used to emboss whatever I wanted to bleach out. And yeah, I want to do the hat too. I actually have one done because you can't put any color back on it until it's like totally dry. The scarf, I decided to leave blue on this one. So, and you can go back a couple times. You can also heat it. But there, it's bleaching out pretty well. Okay, so I'm going to set that one aside. Actually, I'll put it here and you can kind of still watch it. Um, let's see. So the first one that I did, I did it on the Misty, is it Misty Moonlight? So some cardstocks don't bleach out the same way, although I kind of like this because it's like a night scene, so it's okay, but I decided to do it on the balmy blue. So this is one that's dried, and the other reason you want it to be dry is you can't put any color on it until it's dry or it'll bleach right back out. So I am going to really only do the little thing on his head. Oh, I have them here. So I'm gonna use the blends. You can use either. I hate that side. <laughs> I say it every time. And a little bit of green in there. And somewhere I had some orange. Uh, yeah, I put it back away. And really, that's all I'm going to color on him. Then we're going to take this and... Oh, I'm going to go around it. I am but I think I'm not gonna do it the way I did it the first time. I'm just gonna take the brush and I'm gonna lean it towards the front so it actually shows. Or you can, if you trust yourself, there's like a little border here and you can actually color that whole thing in but you'll see on my look closer on my sample I wasn't so neat when I did it so this just seems to be a quicker way of doing it okay so that's how you pretend there's something under it so let's see the other sending you and I think I'll do it in the blue again because that really nice but I don't know where I put it oh it's over here so okay so and that's really about as much as it's going to bleach out. But you can always go back like a second time if you don't want, you know, like if you miss spots. But me, I would leave that just like that. It looks like shadows. 
All right, so this, I couldn't decide which I was going to do. All right, so you guys can tell me. Because so the snowman would be like that. That would be the background. Or that would be the background. I think I like the lighter. I don't know. What do you guys like? It's blurry? Ugh, I don't know why. Um, you like the darker? I'm going to lift it up a little. Who else? The light? Darker, darker. Okay, dark. We're staying with the dark. Okay, so I'll use that for something else. And let's glue. So this was a six by six. It actually went that way that I cut apart. So that's going to go in the middle. And then we're going to pop this one up also. Oh, it did come off. So he's going to go there. And then what I did with this is I put like a double row here in the middle. So I took off these pieces and then put another layer on top of it. Okay, and then on each end, So that's going to give it like a little bit of a hump, a little bit extra dimension. And then, of course, you can decorate it with a few gems, but I'm leaving that off for tonight, too, except on a couple of them. So there's those, the dark and the light. Nighttime snowman, daytime snowman. All right, so here is this card with the DSP and I used hmm. oh there I am I hate the delays I'll go back to my other program so I use the rectangle stitch dies and of course these are pre-done so basically we just gotta glue it and this side would have been nice too. come to think of it Let's see. Either side, but I'll stick so they're the same. I like the snow.
Now it's better. Oh, this paper is gorgeous. Okay, and then this I put down flat. I put everything down flat, actually. Whoops. I should have stamped it first. It's fine. You could even do blue trees. Mmm. I didn't do any blue trees yet this year. Okay, so where is that stamp? Right here. Christmas. My, my blocks are so dirty. Um, and we'll do that in the green. There's that little gnat again. So I did it a little closer to the top. I know where one of the little things are going. Mm. And then these just get glued down. I was going to do like three trees and I didn't like the way it looked. I was like, hmm. All right. So, one of them definitely has to go on the boo-boo. So, it's going to go there. There. And there. So, really simple card. These you can stamp and cut out so fast. So there is one and two. Um, okay, before I start this next one, here's another one that I had done with the snowflakes. I just, I mean, and this is also really fast card. You know, there was hardly any coloring on it and just, boom, die cut and in. So there was that one. Okay, so we've got that one now. So now you could do the same technique and bleach out on crumb cake comes out really nice but I'm not doing that I'm gonna show you something else so we're gonna stamp our snowman first like that Maybe he wasn't so bad. Yeah, he was bad. Oh, no, it doesn't matter because I'm coloring over him. Yeah, he's fine. We'll leave it. It's all good. Okay, then we're going to take the trees. And I did re-ink that today. So you could also, like, blot these off like I've shown you like with a sponge if you have too much ink in your pad and then I'm gonna do just a little one right there um, do I want that I'll do that in black okay then the Merry Christmas is the one that I used from the other set because sometimes those others are just too big. Hmm. 
Okay. So now this nifty, and I always forget to use it, and one of these isn't as good as the other. And I don't know which is which until I start to use them. But these are our chalk mar chalk or chalk markers. Well, I think that's a good one. So you're just gonna go in and stay and color and just fill in the snowman. And the trick to getting it as white as the other one is once this layer dries, you can get it darker and go right over all your black. It doesn't matter. And it dries pretty quick. But layer number one is the most important. And then I'm going to go in and do his face. And then I do some like circular motions. Just swirl it. Okay, then now that these are dry, the only thing with your trees is that uh, I tap it because this ink will get onto the tip and you don't want to spread it too far because you want that to look like there's snow. So I didn't worry about getting a lot on it because then I go over it with the Winka Stella anyway. Yeah, if it's a bigger space, you can just kind of color normally, but you don't want to spend a lot of time in there because you're going to spread that green ink everywhere. Today, it was like all over me. I don't know what I did, but... I haven't looked in the mirror yet. It could be all in my face. I don't know. Okay, so you could do like one more coat. I mean, it's up to you how how dark you want it. Okay. So now we're going to take the gray that well, this is actually dark basic black. So we're going to take that and just got it. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's always fun. Always something happening here. Whoops. He's got a little hard eye there. Okay, and then the, his schnoz. And 
Z Betty's. Um, what else did I want to do on him? Oh, the green. We're going to do his scarf. Green. So it's pretty quick. And then we're going to darken up his hat. Oh well, I'll do it with this. Who cares? So this is the dark black. So I'm just coming around there. There. Up in there. A little bit around there. I'm going to darken there and bring that back there. Then I'm going to take, so this was dark smoky slate. So he's going to have like a little light spot on his hat. And then we're going to put them together. I think. Where'd I put everything? Gal, right here. Whew. Okay. Hey everybody who just came in. Okay, so then the last thing is, and I hope this isn't the one that leaks. So, I just made some stuff shiny. I think I got it all. So there he is. And here was the original one. Okay. And for my last trick, this is the card I'm doing. So hopefully this is going to work because this card took me like just to figure out how to do steps and like, I don't know, I was a little fuddled. And first I had an oval door and like I wasn't happy. So this is the texture. It's up in my cabinet, so I forget what it's called. But it's got like all the different wood grains. I love this paper. I cut my door out of that piece there. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this to that. It's the old this to that thing. I have to post for people who aren't friends on my regular page the video. I know I'm always talking about my, my little Yorkie. So I have to post it 
<laughs> her doing her little hunting thing. She's so funny. I finally got it. I mean, I've got her chasing the rabbit, but not stalking it like she does. Okay, so in order to do these, so the first time I actually used two, two pieces to, to do, well, three for here. So I think I'm going to pull it in just to um, draw the lines. But that was like the hardest part for me. But really, so this is three quarters of an inch. This is a half an inch. And then you've got a quarter of an inch. So this one is three and a half. This is, no, two and a half and two and three quarters. So it's just a quarter of an inch more. So what I'm going to do first is color that. I may have to do a little bit more after. But I was trying to like figure out shading and stuff. But when I took off that piece that was, you know, temporary there, I went, oh, now it looks like a top step. So I'm just going to do that bottom piece first. You know what I'm going to try? I think this might work better. Our gray granite, because this is gray granite paper. And the one thing about our ink is our ink is thinner than the others. That's why our ink, um, sometimes when you're trying to color something and it really rushes around, that's why, because ours is so much thinner. Okay. So, we're going to glue this on first. Yes, I'm going to glue that on. This, I think, is the easy, is easier than how I did it the first time. Okay. So then, this one gets cut at an angle that way. So we're just going to cut off that corner. Just slightly at an angle. Like that. So you're doing the top on that side, and then on this side, it's the bottom, like that. Although, if you wanted to measure and make it perfect, you know, you could do that, because this is not. So that's going to go there. But then, where's my pencil? I don't even need that, because I can do it with a pencil. Or maybe I'll just do it with the marker. That's the ticket. Okay. Let's see. So, not that side. So we're going to just do that. And then all this is going to get shaded. So really, that wasn't so hard. I'm going to put another coat on it. Okay. So that's going to get glued down there. Like I never did steps before. This was like a first for me. And I tried to look it up and I was like, somebody's got to have it. But I couldn't find it anywhere. So then I just looked at a drawing of steps. So really, I should have cut that at a little bit more of an angle. Too late. I just glued it. <laughs> Too late. Too late. Close enough.
Um, that's the side. So now we can glue down our door. Now don't ask me to make a woof. Because that's not going to happen. Okay. So then I pre-colored this. So we're just going to stick a couple... That's the little ones. I got it. Three to be exact. My door is crooked. Mm. Nah. We'll just tilt your head a little. That's all. All right, so now we've got to take this piece of scrap paper and we're going to stamp Season's Greetings. And maybe we'll do that in green. What did I do it on the other one? Brown. Okay, we'll do it in brown. Isn't that weird? Another one? No, nah, I missed it. They're not fruit flies either because they're not going anywhere near my fruit. They're canets. And then I'm going to use, what was this called? Classic label. Which I hardly ever use either, but I can for this. I like it and then we're just going to glue that down let me just shut this mm, it's good to put it right side and it fits that door perfectly all right, so then I got to find my little faceted, there they are. These are the gilded gems. Whoa. And I got dots on me. And we're gonna use one of these for the doorknob. And then we're going to glue it to the card. So there it is. One and two. All right, so I am going to clear this away. Yeah, what do you put? Uh, I'm putting the sink stuff. You know, when I lived in, in New York, too, in my apartment, I think they're like, moisture they come from um, and I didn't even check like if they're coming from the bathtub but I used to have them in the bathtub I, you know I, I would see them in there and then one day I was downstairs and there was a leak in the pipe which the landlord had to come and fix but um, the whole wall in there was full of these little gnats so yeah they are like moisture so here's the cards from tonight. We just need one of these. We'll do the one we did. And then that one. I gotta come up with some more with, you know, like other colors. I feel like I'm missing one. 
I don't know. No, no, no. Yes. There we go. So these are them. I hope you like them all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I do have a good start. That's why I'm really not, you know, like I don't care, you know, doing the Christmas in July and, and I'll be switching off. But by the time we get to Christmas, because I did this last year too, like I had enough of Christmas card making. So there was like no more that, like in November, I was like, I'm done. I'm just done. Yeah, I have a lot of cards already. So Thanks, everybody, for joining me, and I will be back again um, Saturday for coloring on my, um, in my group, and then, what's, today's what, Wednesday, ha <laughs> and then Sunday with, you know my motto, I don't know what, but it'll be something, and I have another order coming tomorrow, so, yeah, baby, never know. I'll see you all next time. Thanks again. Good night.